right, so this is my gas selector for my chemistry lab. Each gas has a button associated to it. When you press that button, gas moves from the holding area over here into the canister that is on uh, the same platform as the chemistry lab, so it can be used by the chemistry lab. Also turns this light on. Uh, when you turn it off, it reverses and starts putting the gas back. Probably should wait for that one to go in. Puts the gas back into the holding area, leaves this canister empty so that you can fill it with a new gas. So if I want to make, let's say, steel, I can turn on my input resources, I can select argon, and then I can cook it. And that will just keep filling up argon into this canister the whole time. And when the steel is done being cooked, it gets pulled from this arm into the storage canister in the back over here. And this is just a look at how it goes. These are the two arms that move things forwards and backwards. This is the wiring from the switch. It goes to a button that switches these arms and to the canister. It actually goes to the platform of the canister, so you can take these canisters off, put them back on with fresh ones, and it will activate anyway because it's activating the platform that it's sitting on. And yeah, that'll just keep your uh, chemistry station nicely automated.